Okay, so we also made some meatballs at the same time. Am I right, Tom? Yeah. Yeah, we made some meatballs at the same time because we bought the fresh meat today at Safeways. Mm -hmm. And I like to make this one, the sarkot, and meatballs if we make from fresh meat and also meatloaf. I right. don't like the frozen tartar and made it. And frozen meat is good for chili or uh, spaghetti sauce or something because the frozen meat you can in your pan be. Yeah, brown it, yeah. Brown so anyways, this one was about again one and a half pound uh, of fresh beef, beef. Mm -hmm. and uh, this one is just from beef, you can make also from pork or mix or something. Mm -hmm. And then what we use is... Right, well you did you uh, a quarter teaspoon of, of salt mm -hmm. and a quarter teaspoon of ground pepper, uh, half teaspoon of paprika mm -hmm. and then three quarter cups of breadcrumbs mm -hmm. one, crushed garlic. one crushed garlic and one egg and then you mixed everything together you form plum small size meatballs yeah, small, yes so smaller ones and then you Sylvia arranged it size. huh si plum. yes and then you arranged it in this baking pan, uh, but then you said you wet the bottom with water first. Yeah, I, I kind of uh, washed it out and let it wet the bottom. Mm, so when okay. I put the meatballs, it will not stick on it. Right they won't away. stick on it. The balls won't stick on it. Mm. And then when they're all in the pan, I also saw that you poured approximately a quarter cup yeah. of water so into when, the pan. Yeah, and when I made the raw meatball, I arranged it exactly like this. See, nice rogba, mm -hmm. because when it bakes, it's small enough, it will be smaller, mix the uh, kitchen, mm -hmm. and then you mix it up about every 15 minutes. Okay. And that's a brownish on top, yeah, and that's why you always... Just keep turning keep them turning over. Keep a little bit so both sides don't the same way, make sure. Okay, so then it says here you baked it uh, at 375 mm -hmm. for about 55 minutes in total, and as you say, turning it every... 15 or 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So yeah, and then this one, is, yeah, there's a recipe the there. Meatballs, quarter, uh, all the ingredients there. Mm -hmm. Mom's handwriting. Mix everything together. Form the meatballs. Arrange in a baking pan. Maybe do it slower, no? Well, you can pause it as you go through it. There we go. Fun. There's Mom's recipe for meatballs. Okay, and then see, because we put the colder cup of water. Mm -hmm. It's not, not, not uh, didn't burn down. Burn no. down. They just had a little, little, little juice That's cool. from the meat too. So, and this one you can use with mashed potatoes and pickles or lettuce. You can use it to make Hawaiian. Uh, well, that's what we're gonna do, hey? Yeah, the, Hawaiian uh, sauce to eat with sour, rice, pineapple meatballs. And uh, in any way, so you can eat it just with bread or. Mustard. Whatever, mustard, and we will freeze this now, mm -hmm. and then we will make the Hawaiian sauce, we just cook it over a little bit on the stove top. Right, well we have the sauce. recipe, we have yeah. the recipe anyway, so. Yeah, tight, and then cook it over and with nice Hawaiian juice. Hawaiian sauces, yeah. yes. Because we have not a circle, so we can do both no, time, not at right? all. Oh. Okay, so I always okay. make this from fresh meat, not even second day like why today leave in the fridge and second day like I don't like that no. you go a store buy you buy the meat and very same day first day make fresh meatball okay that's the best thing well thanks for thanks. mom's meatballs thank you <laughs> okay